Hello everybody, welcome back to the Ostrogoths campaign on Total War Attila. This is Ben Pope, and we left off with a Hunnic army sort of uh, raiding here, and they just have a lot of missile units. I might be able to do something about it, but I'm not at war with them, so hopefully they'll just leave. Uh, the, the Germanic horsemen and raiders I have are not fast enough to catch... Maybe the raiders are, um, but they just have a lot of these bow horse units, and uh, these I could deal with if I can get to them. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. If I have to fight them, then I'll bring everybody out, um, my main army there, and possibly I can even recruit some more. Uh, well, Germanic spears. Uh, let's. I don't know, let's get two of these guys here, so they're there. And our other cities are fine. Uh, this guy's kind of just keeping order. He can he can train. Oops, sorry. He can he can train the raiders and the warband. So that's good. And on uh, from Sirmium, I have the. I thought I had bows, but just the hurdlers. All right. On this other side, um, we fought off an army of the Abastia, and we're gonna attack their city because they don't have much there. And hopefully, um, take it next turn while this army replenishes, and then we'll take some more of the territory. Because I don't think they were just. Um, I don't think they were that powerful um, could possibly do with some we have public orders so I'm gonna go with growth uh, actually I don't need growth <laughs> okay we're gonna go with research rate all right let's end the turn and see what happens it's been a couple of days again since we've seen an episode of the Ostrogoths, but uh, that's just sort of the name of the game now. We uh, have a lot more going on. And I don't know, I think with a few days break in between, it gives more people time to watch uh, an episode uh, before another one comes out. So in a way, it, it might work out. I'm trying to keep a schedule, but it's not really working. So I'm just um, uploading as often as I as I can, and I appreciate all the support you guys can bring. Uh, these guys are trying to suicide. I see. Uh, I don't know why they're um, such good odds. They have hurdlers. Two of them. And I have two bows. Um, the admiral is kind of weaker, so maybe that's another one. And then I can probably assault. Uh, this is a rhyming ship, so I can probably assault his uh, general with it. So let's go into battlefield. I think it's, I think it's the first naval combat we get to see um, on my channel, really, for the Attila Total War. Okay, we want to keep our general in the back, and these guys, supposedly, I think you want to be, maybe, Go that way, and the, let's sink some ships. Oh, 
men are wavering. Yes, they were wavering. Come back. I hit that ramming speed too early. Hopefully I can get him to come back into my... He's gonna keep chasing this guy, so... I don't know what's going on, but I think they're gonna ram... Going there. Do it, do it, do it. I suppose I, I, I suppose that's fine. But uh, I'm not sure how it's gonna work. So. I'm just going to keep ramming it. There's definitely a fight on the boat. Alright. Go back to normal view and see what's going on. Somebody's withdrawn. Come on. The two boats can't attack the same boat apparently, so... Uh. Alright. Uh. Over here. I hope you guys are winning. Winning decisively, okay. What happened to you guys? Are you all dead? No, there's still five of you. You could probably, you know, go away. Can probably run away. Oh no, it's on fire. Get back, get back to your boat. Get out of there. Close victory, all right. I guess it was a close victory, not really. I mean, they only had like 50 less people than I did, but it's fine. But I only lost 91, so. There goes their fleet defending that city. Uh, I'm gonna take on warriors because whatever they have, whatever they have left. Um, I need the people to be able to go in and attack their town, which was probably a good move for them. They bought some time, um, in a way. As long as our strength remains, we would be honored to count you as friends and more. Sure, uh, I'm training with you, so we'll be friends. And the enemy was killed in battle. We aborted... Okay, the chieftains wish this man off our lands. Uh, believing his purpose is to do us harm. So I'm supposed to assassinate somebody. Uh, loyalty, Archibald, you know... Uh, I would like to fix that problem, uh, but these guys I can't, I can't find. For the tribe. Um, let's look at them again. For oh, you, huh? I didn't know you're. Okay, so his loyalty is one. Um, what I can't figure out is that he's not on the family tree unless he appeared again 
he wasn't married to anyone. So yeah. I don't know. Um, I probably shouldn't leave him in a... Uh, as a general though, because if he's... Yeah. Just this man, this. And where is the other person? He is in the capital. Right. Uh, the Huns are still here. They're not no longer raiding. I'm making less money now. Um, why am I making less money? I even got rid of a general. Construction site. Do I have a smithy? I have the granary. Sanitation. And I was gonna build a town center, right? That's really the downside of my um, taking breaks between between uh, episodes is that I forget what I was gonna do. Uh, these guys are taking some attrition out there, so we have to move them closer. Uh, I forgot to take him off of a uh, force march. Um, let's see what kind of garrison they have. I can always pull back. Apparently they have... A few archers. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's. I mean, I could I could sit in uh, and have a blockade, but they they might just attack me um, in in the next turn. So we'll go back home and hopefully just seal in with both forces next time. He's got some uh, level ups, so now we have to go this way to get Fleet Commander. Um, yeah, so we'll do that. Fleet ready. What else could we do? Kind of ignoring those Huns. Um, I think I'm making less money because I built these spearmen. That would be a, a good reason, right? So let's end another turn. I hope you guys are enjoying my sort of mellow campaign. Um, I know that there's a lot of people out there that have uh, vastly superior content. And it's okay if you watch them instead of me <laughs> I, um, the views I get I'm pretty happy with I know that they will grow eventually with um, the more the more you do the more people get to uh, stumble upon your work that's kind of the idea I'm going with my uh, city skyline lines the European um, uh, sort of themed Mm, these guys, these guys. Uh, the European themed city is doing pretty well, so I'm happy with that. I'm gonna retreat. Hopefully, it's he's gonna go back towards my town. Back. Okay, good. I don't know why you have to go that far. Uh, and they got an army back. All right. So the fight with the Abastians in the east is gonna continue. I was expecting it to continue because I knew they probably have more forces. Um, but I was expecting to take a few of their towns. Uh, many pagans followers of the Germanic gods fill our lands. Do they deserve equal rights? 
I think I already answered this question before. Um, I think last time I gave him equal rights, this time I'm going to impose sanctions. They're not going to be happy either way. Somebody is going to be unhappy either way. That's my, my assumption. Before the equal rights were handed out and all the uh, sort of Christian religions, whatever, uh, even Christian, Greco Roman paganism, all the other guys were like, oh man, um, no. So, yeah. uh, peace negotiated, Gaul and Eastern Romans, Gaul and Abatia. Right, let's go. I thought that's gonna give me a, a button to go here. Uh, quit, quit the stands, go in the town. It's gonna take you a million years to replenish, isn't it? Here we can train some uh, noble Germanic swordsmen. They're expensive for uh, per turn upkeep as well as the cost. The Foxmen are decent, I have two units of them, and I have plenty of hurlers. I don't know exactly what to do about recruiting more variety. Maybe I can go take this town, but fighting off these guys, they're going to keep coming at me. Fighting off these guys is probably a priority here. So, um, it must be less income, let's see, because of winter, let me go see over here, no, just corruption, just corruption, minus seven. Okay, uh, so we have a town center, and we were gonna go with the meeting hall. Um, here we can increase to the livestock herd from the pastures and get lancers. Or I could get the chapel. 2000 for that, 1700 for this. I think I'll go with the 1700 for this. Uh, although it's gonna mess up our public order and squalor. What's our squalor at? I have two sanitation. This will add two. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Spending our money because we can. I've been enjoying all the um, content people are making across our Total War community uh, that Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales, has set up. Um, of course, he's now doing a ch uh, challenge with Hef, or it's Hef challenge. Um, Hef is the mighty Australian who has uh, set up a challenge to conquer the Holy City as um, Egypt in uh, Medieval 2, and whoever gets to um, this. He set up teams with, of YouTubers and whoever gets to conquer it first and in the least amount of time um, wins the challenge. It's nice. It's a nice idea to get everybody uh, involved and connected and sort of web out your, your content. It's nice. I don't have time for uh, challenges like that. Maybe in the future I will. Maybe, maybe. And I'm aware that, um, let's see, uh, another one. I don't know what to do about it, because I can't select him in... <sighs> right. So, uh, public order up to minus 10 from presence of Germanic pa paganism. Mm. Thanks. 
That was that was great. That was great, dude. Thanks. Uh, hunger is best motivation for population to work. All right. So that was the technology. Uh, we can spend twenty five hundred and get city town and wagon lager. Or I can spend 2500 Oh, that's 10000 I just assumed that would be the same price. To get Balistari, Praventores, and Germanic Archers. Um, recruitment capacity plus one costs and recruitment costs for, oh, for Cav and Ranged Infantry. Army drills, spearmasters, pikemen, and Thracian warriors. Hmm. Amber trader, fairground, mid hall, gathering of elders, hall of elders. Maybe I'll do this. Maybe. I could also pause it while it's going. Um, eh, I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll do that. But, um, I can also unclick it and, like, finish this and then, you know, or when I have money for this, I'll get it and then go back. Something like that. Okay, uh, so the Huns are... Are they still raiding here? Public order. Events. Situation. Immigrants. Taxes. Doesn't seem like there's any raids. So they're raiding in the desolate area. Good for me. Uh, I noticed that there was an army that climbed over here. The chain breakers. Seems that they don't have a general. I'm not sure how that worked out for them. But um, chain breakers have a lot of random things I don't know about uh, so we're gonna Ready for battle. yeah I think we're gonna make them we're gonna make them attack us because well the only th the only worst thing it could happen is that they would get more um, They don't have an actual general. Maybe I should attack them. Warriors all. I don't know what they have though. Here. Why don't we spy with our boats? That doesn't seem to work. Spy with the boats. Come on boats, you can s bloody see what's on the ridge there on the hill. You can look at it. Look, look. You can just look at the hill. What's on the hill? No? Fine. Looks like we're gaining one boat. Uh, that's really low replenishment rate. Might as well toss all these boats and buy, build new ones. Seriously. Um, 135 upkeep and 275. Yeah, I mean, I won't. I won't pay the upkeep, but I um. Right here, you guys can combine with this button. All right, so we're gonna dismantle this guy. Um, two seventy five. 180. Yeah, I mean, there's no, there's really why, because it's gonna take if it's gonna if the, if it's one boat like every turn, it's gonna be like 10 turns before I get to 47, and then so on. I don't know, men per turn two turns until finished nine, so in nine turns I'm paying like over a thousand, uh, when I can just disband it, and I'll get fresh boats like this instantly. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. It makes sense for me. I'll have, I'll have fresh boats instantly. 
And can I have anything fresh instantly here? Maybe more herders? <laughs> no, I'll just wait. All right. Um, I'm also out of time again for this episode, and I think we're going to see another fight here uh, with those dudes coming in to get us. Um, so this is definitely a hot spot. So keep an eye out. Do come back for the next episode, please. I thank you, and I appreciate all the support you give me. I hope you enjoyed the naval combat. The, it was a short fight, but it was still nice. And yeah, what can I say? Let's uh, let's do let's 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 do this again. I'll see you guys later. Please do comment, subscribe, if you like the content on my video, and hit the like button. And I will see you soon enough. Bye.